at Sunday Fun and we found an engine we didn't know anything about. So what we do is we go ask people who know something about the engine to tell us more. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm speaking with Carlos Augusto Riegel. Yes, Riegel. Riegel. Carlos. Yeah. I'm going to go with Carlos it's for easier. now. It's easier. All right. Americans can handle that real well. So can <laughs> everyone else. Carlos, tell me a little bit about the engine that I see here from your company, Motorade. Yes. What is this engine? And uh, just describe its basic th uh, qualities for me. Okay. It's a 100 horsepower uh, engine, direct drive, air cooled, and uh, reach 100 horsepower at 2900 RPM. This uh, magnesium, the case is made from magnesium, and uh, the, all the designs are made in Brazil, and uh, all the parts uh, we made inside our company, Motorhub. So the company uh, casts all the parts and, uh, for the aluminum and the magnesium parts. Cylinders are a mold, yes, okay. they are mold, and it is iron. Okay. Uh, in the made in the mold. And is it, is this made the same way? No, this is die cast. Ah, oh, die cast. Die okay. cast in magnesium right. die cast. I see. The, okay. the case is magnesium die cast. Even the cylinder heads are aluminum. Is uh, just cast uh, gravity cast. Okay. Okay. All right. So you use different kinds of materials on the yeah, engine, obviously. Exactly. And up here, I see some machined parts. Yeah, all those are the machine aluminum machine parts over okay. here. Now, and all the, the the crank axle is made from steel 4340. Is forged. All the parts inside, like the rods, are all everything is uh, forged. Also. And uh, we think we have a real good engine. Yeah. Now you're you're fairly new in the process. You said you've got three of these flying in Brazil. You yeah, told exactly. me is that correct? Yeah, exactly. And uh, have they flown some hours on them? Yeah, already a lot of hours. And uh, we're still doing the on the bench tests. We are certifying the, right now for the ASTM two three three nine for the LSA. And we hope before Oshkosh we have already certified this engine for that. Okay, so you're you're well along in the process. Yes, then. already. And uh, now you're hoping to complete that, and then you can sell to those aircraft. Yeah, exactly. Would you like to sell to the kit aircraft community as well? Yes, like an experimental. Yes, we okay. can sell that as an experimental engine for the experimental aircraft. Yes. Okay, so give me some of the information about, let's say, the weight of the aircraft. Uh, none of the aircraft, the engine, excuse engine. me, yes. This, uh, the weight is 184 pounds. Is right that now. with everything it or is that the basic engine? We, no, the, the basic engines, flying basic engines, like to say, uh, with one alternator. That we have two alternators here, but uh, the, this weight is for one alternator. I see, okay. Okay, uh -huh. he comes with uh, two electronic ignitions. Yeah. Is here two electronic ignition, two spark plugs, of course, on, on each cylinder. Okay. And uh, that's 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 the engine. Um, and uh, we we have been on the bench test for a, a while, and this project's already running for more than six years. So we have a lot of experience on this engine right now. Even here in the United States, we bring. We brought one engine here about ah, okay. three years ago for a company to make all the tests for the, the power and everything we made here in the U.S. So that's, they have, the engine has 104 R, uh, horsepower okay. at 2900 RPM. And uh, you can fly normally about 75% of the power, about 20, 2600 RPM. Okay. And... Uh, that runs real smooth, smooth on that RPM, you know, real nice. When you are running at 2,600 RPM, what fuel consumption do you have? Around uh, 18 liters. 18 uh, liters, so about hour. four and a half gallons an hour. An hour. Exactly. Okay, very good. Um, Talk to me a little bit about, now you're, you're fairly new, you've got time on the engine already, yep. but do you have a projected time between overhaul? Yeah, we're starting the uh, overhaul right now is at 1,200 hours. 1,200 hours, after okay. after the ASTM certification, then we're going to increase this uh, with all the, the other tests to 2,000 hours. Okay. But right now it's 1,200 hours. Okay. 
And okay. uh, when do you uh, expect you'll be delivering your first engines to people? Yeah, after we certify it. The, the, the company says, okay, we are, must have certified, then we are sure that we, you, we can show all the, the, the customers that we have a real good engines for them uh, uh, because we will be certified, ASTM of course, but we will be certified then we hope after July or in Oshkosh will be ready to deliver the, the engine for the normal consumers. Okay, so once you have your certification complete and have uh, declared your compliance to ASTM standards, okay. uh, is the factory ready to produce then? Do you have yes. the production machinery yes. in place to do so? Everything is, is done over there. Then we already all have all the parts and everything in stock. So we just are waiting for this a certification then we start to deliver the engines okay very good okay so someone who buys a new engine we hope will have no problems right away but they need to have some place to get them serviced how will you handle that not from brazil i presume no we have already have here in the u.s one company that provides the, the all the contacts for us and uh, maybe next month we have another one uh, in Mississippi that's going to provide all the parts that you need in the future for TBO and replacement parts. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, that's a lot of questions and you gave me a lot of answers. That's okay. good. Thank you. Uh, tell me a web address where we can contact you and they can ask more questions if okay. they wish. It's uh, motorav.com. Uh, M-O-T-O-R-A-V.com. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. You can find more about the aircraft on which these engines are installed and lots more affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Carlos with two more names here yeah. at uh, Sun and Fun. Yeah, let's, thank you very much for attention.